The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes self-reinforcing feedback loops number 15 through number 17 in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national level governments. Remember, it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Feedback loop number 15 Increased temperature and aridity in the southwestern interior of North America facilitates movement of dust from low elevation deserts to a high elevation snowpack, thus accelerating snowmelt, as reported in the May 17, 2013 issue of Hydrology and Earth System Sciences. Number 16. Floods in Canada are sending pulses of silty water out through the Mackenzie Delta and into the Beaufort Sea, thus painting brown a wide section of the Arctic Ocean near the Mackenzie Delta, according to NASA in June 2013. Pictures of this, of this phenomenon are shown on the NASA website. So for reinforcing feedback loop number 17, surface meltwater draining through cracks in an ice sheet can warm the sheet from the inside, softening the ice and letting it flow faster, according to a study accepted for publication in the July 2013 issue of Journal of Geophysical Research, Earth Surface. Further support for this idea was reported in the September 29, 2014 issue of Nature Communications. Based on data collected in 2011, a paper published online in the July 13, 2015 issue of Nature Geoscience finds, quote, Given that the advection of warm, moist air masses and rainfall over Greenland is expected to become more frequent in the coming decades, our findings portend a previously unforeseen vulnerability of the Greenland ice sheet to climate change. End quote. Briefly, melting of the quote, Greenland ice sheet has been shown to accelerate in response to surface rainfall and melt associated with late summer and autumnal cyclonic weather events, end quote.